Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. In the last episode, we had like a couple duels and wound up losing one of them. Oh, who's this? Striking someone. Oh, it's Yugi! I'm Yugi Moto! Do you duel? You do? That's perfect! We should duel! Who has a conversation like that? Also, how did you not see my, uh, dual disc? I'm pretty sure that's just not a big bracelet. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now, you need. Alright, let's see what I got to work with. Well, one of the cards that I recently added to my deck, Rabi, is now in. But I also have Baron of the Fiend's Sword, our Ninja. What does this do again? Unhappy Maiden? When this card is sent to the graveyard as a result of battle, the battle phase of that turn ends immediately. Okay, well that's helpful. I think I might as well just summon this. Even though I expect Yugi to possibly have an answer for that right away. Or not. Okay, maybe there could be two answers for that. Light Force Sword! Oh no, not my Arm Ninja. Whatever will I do? Now, it could be very possible that Yuki just had drawn a Mirror Force right away. Nope, that's a Spellbinding Circle. Never mind. No, no, let me set this as well. Alright, your move. Curse a dragon! Oh yeah, this is around the time when they started adding, like... Animations or, like, intros to certain monsters. Make all battle damage flicked by monsters on your side of the field zero this turn. I don't remember that actually keeps my monster from being destroyed. Oh yeah, it's not destroyed. Perfect. Nice. That will allow me to bring in uh, Flame Cerberus right now. I might as well sacrifice my Urabi to make Spellbinding Circle useless. should take out Curse the Dragon, and I think that's going to be it for now. Fair enough. Alright, let me put this face down and end my turn. Alright, let's see what you got. Torike? I'm surprised you went for it. Man, you, I, I don't feel good for you at all, Yugi. Because the battle phase just ends, even though it didn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Ooh, Stim Pack is pretty good to give you a big buff. But unfortunately, it caused it to decrease by 200 every other standby phase so it can actually go lower than its original attack. It's pretty good if you want to end a duel early or if there's a certain opponent that you can't beat anyway but you can delay the duel for another few more rounds. So Stimpak does have some of its some use. Not a lot of use, but the use exists. Yugi just looks at me like right mad, like, how dare you do this? Why are you so mean? All 
All right, Light Force Sword uh, is no longer in play because it was four turns. That means I can actually... I don't think I want to use Arm Ninja at all. Maybe I can, like, force him to put a monster in attack mode. So, yeah, why not just do that? Feral Imp, I can beat that. Nicely done. Now all we have to do is just hit Yugi directly. And he's gonna get dusted. Hopefully the further I go in, like, developing my character, like, getting enough experience, getting enough points, getting enough experience points, oh, Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, I knew you'd go for it. Um... Then I'll be able to find more packs, and therefore I can buy better stuff. Designate the spell card you wish to destroy. Well, this is a trap, so it can't be destroyed. But I don't think that's really going to change uh, Yugi's strategy if he knows what I have. Hold on. 2100... You know what? We can definitely end this now. Okay, I just had to double check to make sure I can choose who I tribute. So let me get rid of Prevent Rat. And now you have to get rid of Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. And then we're gonna win! Alright, so, so come at me. Oh wait, you can't. You are defenseless. Dusted. I can beat Yugi, but yet I lose to Bakura. What a world. Oh, I need 64 more points to get to level 2. Oh, it's nighttime now. Huh, oh, I was so close. I won't lose next time. Okay, so where should I look around? Hang on. Closing on somebody right here. Oh, look, there it is. It's Joey. I'm Joey, the duelist no one wants to face. No, not because I'm annoying, because I'm the toughest duelist out there. If you're a duelist, I'll take you on. I should have just said no as a joke. But I really need the experience. I'll go second. Like, if my deck was more specialized in traps and stuff, I would definitely want to go first. Oh, baby dragon, eh? Well, it is one of Joey's signature monsters, so it does get it, uh, an intro. Oh! You're gonna use Needle Wall, eh? I have that in my deck and I never drawn it yet. What the hell? Alright, so here's the play. If Joey has a skull dice, I have Rush Recklessly to counter. Kunai with Chain. Um I have Chain another card? I don't think so. It's forced into defense mode anyway. Well, that sucks. There's are, there are a couple ways I can go about this. Don't you roll a three. What was that, a one? I think that's a one. Oh, great! Alligator sword! Negate attack is for the whole battle phase, so yeah, I'm, I might as well activate that now.
All right, I can put my monster back into attack position. So that's what I'm going to do. And also, I'm going to bring in yet another Great White. So the play is, use Rush Direct to Slay. Yeah, I'm one of them. Use that one to take out the Baby Dragon. The other one can take out the Alligator Sword. And then we in business. Just make sure I'm selecting the right one. Nice. Oh, he's gonna start sweating now. And that automatically destroys the kunai with chain as well. Okay, so far so good. I got two nasty sharks waiting for him. Now he's gonna make sure he doesn't roll a three or a four. A one again. <laughs> if he rolled a six, he can roll again. Dangerous machine type six. Hold on, what the hell does that do again? Let me look. I think it's the first time I've ever seen that. Roll a die during each of your standby phases. Apply the effect that matches the number rolled as follows. One, discard one card from your hand. Two, your opponent discards one card from your hand. Three, you draw one card. Four, your opponent draws a card. Five, destroy one card on your opponent's field. Or six, destroy this card. Oh my god. Joey really loves his dice. I might have to consider just overloading the field, because as much as I want to bring in Sang of the Thunder, what if he locks out with that needle wall and it's gone? I can't take that risk. So the best thing for me to do is blitz him. Hopefully I'll be able to make a much more constructed deck or, you know, cohesive deck later. Right now I'm leaning to what I normally do, and that's dark, t dark attribute monsters usually a fiend type deck but if I end up getting like different cards that are away from that archetype I might end up trying something new oh that's a five. Oh great now you gotta roll another dice five oh that's right five allows them to destroy one monster or is it one monster or one card let me look at that Destroy one card, so it can be anything. Well, that sucks. Best thing for me to do is bring in Muka Muka. Every time I say Muka Muka, it almost sounds like a Pokemon. Muka Muka! <laughs> Could you imagine, like, the world of Yu Gi Oh! Like, almost run like the world of Pokemon? Where you're just going all over the place and finding random dual monsters. And then when you actually beat them into submission with your other monsters, throw a blank card, and then they become your monsters. Just imagine how dope that would have been. And they could have called it like Yuki Go. Play it on your phone. Two. Well, there goes my Baron. I swear to God, if you roll a five, a four, that adds one card to my hand. Oh, look, Axe Raider. Well, lost my great white, but you know what? Him rolling a four prevented my Muka Muka from being destroyed by that Axe Raider. And it's actually stronger than it now. Let's see, even if I put a card down... Oh, it's 2100 now. If I lay down a card, it'll be 1800, so I can still beat Axe Raider. So what I want to do... I want to set this, so I can finally get rid of that Type 6 Dangerous Machine card. It needs to go.
Axe Raider is actually a really good monster to have. Because a base 1700? How can you go wrong with that? A five. Okay, I'm safe. You no, know give me another four. I don't care. Four! Nice! Oh man, I'm getting all the luck now. All right, Arm Ninja, time for you to do your job. Designate spill card. I want to destroy definitely this. Oh, okay. Think I'm worried about that? Do you really think I'm worried about that? Hold on. 2,400 difference of 900 so in order for me to win this duel I have to not play anything else from my hand that's game we did it that face down didn't save you Joester or should I say jokester Ooh, level up oh by leveling up you gain extra points Oh, I lost! Joey, what were you doing around a playground at night? I think that's kind of creepy. Is this shop even open at night? Whatever the case, I'm going there now. Oh my god, this shop is still open? How, how kind of you. You did this all for me. All right, number two. Well, Shinigan, Little Chimera, Beaver Warrior, Crimson Sunbird. Okay, Trap Master, I do like. In fact, I can immediately replace the Crimson Ninja with this. It's literally the same effect. Only higher stats. Actually, let me go with another mechanical trap power. Is there a way for me to buy more than one? No, I don't think there is. King of Yamamakai, Fortress Thrills, Orth. Oh, there. Two headed King Rex. That's a good one. Fortress Whale and Tremendous Pow. Tremendous Fire. All right, I'm gonna load, load two more packs of this, too. I open it so methodically, have you noticed? Okay, House of Adhesive Tape, Whiptail Crow, Steel Ogre Grotto, number two, Zanky, and Slot Machine. Okay, I can only keep selecting for that same pack as long as they're available. I think that was number two that I opened, or number three. Okay, okay, decent haul. If I could just play fusion monsters for my deck, which I can't, Twin of Thunder Dragon would have been boss. But I'll settle for another Neo the Magic Swordsman and a two out of King Rex. And hey, reinforcements can't go wrong either. I think it's time for me to GTFO. Did I notice that there was like a Duelist of the Roses poster there on the wall? Alright, before I even think about going over there to what looks like another opponent, I should definitely edit my deck more. What was it I wanted to put in? Well, definitely two of these. You know what? Whiptail Crow can go in there as well. You know what? Wink Karibo might be helpful too. 
But we'll see. I think I'll hold off on that. Uh, what was the other one I wanted to work with? Was it reinforcements? I think it was reinforcements. No, Trap Master! That's definitely one I want to add to my deck. Where did that go off to again? Oh, there it is. Okay, now we're at my deck. So... Oh, wait, there was another Neo Magic Swordsman. That's what I wanted to add. Okay, now my deck's at 45. We need to fix that. That's too much. There's a ninja I was going to put in there. Um, what was another one? Silver Fang can go. Honestly, do I really want Slot Machine? I could probably put Kazagen back, so you know what? I will. That over Slot Machine, at the very least. And you know what? We'll get rid of Horn Imp. Who else? I need to get rid of two more. God, this music's so intense. Two prong attack? Probably not gonna get a lot of use out of it. So that can go. And you know what? Screw it. Let me get rid of reverse trap as well. It seems a bit too situational for me. Okay, so what was it I was gonna do again? Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I'm actually gonna change to my deck name. Starter deck. What is a good deck name? like a name it something based on darkness because I have some non-dark attribute cards. Until I think of anything better, I'm just gonna call it the Let's Play deck. And if you guys have any ideas on what I should name my kind of deck, regardless of what kind of archetype it's gonna be, let me know in the comment section. Maybe you guys have some better ideas. Who knows, if I actually select yours, I might get a shout out out of it. I think I might be able to squeeze in one more duel. So you know what, I will. I may be an amateur when it comes to combos and techniques. Yeah, you're an amateur. Oh, I... I don't get this refuse? At first, it was giving me the option that, do you want to duel Joey? And it turns out, you don't have a choice anymore. Did the music just sound different because it's nighttime? Alright, let me go with the snake here for now. All right, your move, Joester. Oh. 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 Ooh, that was a spicy round. Got some uh, traps going on there, Joey? Are you are you like Kevin McAllister of Yu-Gi-Oh? What what are you doing? Well, they can't all be bad. Needle Wall is probably going to be the most infuriating out of them all. 
Because, like, hey, just lose a monster at any time just because it happened to be right there. Well, the only good side is he doesn't have much room to play anything else on the back row. Five. Man, I'm just cutting it close. Alright, well, you're not gonna fight back, I'll just keep summoning monsters. And usually the defense points on Joey's cards are not that good. For Sago the Destroyer... What was that? That can only be good for maybe as a substitute for fusions? I think that's what it is. But at least I definitely redeemed myself from that uh, Bakura debacle. Let's face it, you guys have been chomping at the bit for me to finally do another Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play on my channel. And here it is. Three. Well, there goes Snake Hair. It was a good ride. Oh! Joey! Do I detect that you have summoned no monsters? Well, this is a very unfortunate turn of events. Eh. I would say I feel bad for you, but you're making me duel you under duress. So I guess I'm just gonna have to uh, put you out of your misery real quick. <coughs> well, you're gonna activate Needle Ball, huh? Well, just by some divine intervention, you get a monster of your own. I, too, will play Needle Wall. Can you imagine my Baron and my Shark just looking at that go and like, Whoa. We just dodged a bullet. Because that, that Needle Wall just right, went right between them. Two. Well, how about that? Even Joey can get lucky. Yes, yes, I know, in the anime, Joey was pretty much based on luck. Oh, God. If I had known that would happen, I would have just gone ahead and used the, uh, Sword of Dark Destruction. I got too cocky for my own good. And now I gotta match up with that alligator sword. Hold on, did I... I didn't set a monster. I do have a Wabaku, just in case. Five. Man, he just can't catch a break! I don't think so. I'm not giving you a chance, alright? That's just how it is. Alright, who's going? One! Nobody's going. Time to think of it. I can win right now. If I use Rush recklessly. And you know what, just in case, let me activate Sword of Dark Destruction. Oh, Graceful Dice? Oh, okay, 
I got this. Oh, he was able to discard. Got a four. Oh, shoot, he survived. Okay, this is not gonna work. Select one of your opponent's monsters and shift it to defense position. Alright, so I better do that at the start of my next turn. Unless that alligator's sword is gonna cause even more problems. Six. Oh no. One. Okay. Oh, here we go. I think it's Red Eyes Black Dragon coming. Yep. There's his ace. Well, at least his defense points are low. But I still can't beat that. And I was bringing that out again. Get a four, get a four, get a four, get a four. Six, okay, another chance for a four. I need a four. Oh, I got a four! Oh, this has zero attack points? Are you serious? If I had just oh, had an equip card for this to give it even 150 points, I could have won. But no! We have to play the long game. I see how it is. My needle wall actually saved my ass. Which is more than what I can save for his. Six. Oh, he just automatically loses that card. Okay, baby dragon. I can deal with a baby dragon. Now, can I possibly draw any monster of any kind? Not like that. Five. Because I can't get my monster out now. I'm going to save this paralyzing potion for something worse. Come on, Joey. You're down to your last 150 points. What can you really do to stop me now? As soon as I draw even one monster, you're done. Especially if it has a lot of cards in the hand already. Man, Needleball likes to get five and one. You notice that? Comes down to this move. Yes! We win! Gotcha! It's like a battle of walls and needles. It's seriously ridiculous. It's like Saw. No! I lost! Again, yes. You lost again. Let's already return. Alright, so I guess I have to go to the next day. Let's see if anything came up on my PC. Duelist info is looking really good. Apparently I'm missing a couple entries right here. Huh, Joey's considered strong. Yuki's considered super strong. Mokuba is medium. Makura is strong, I'll give him that. And I haven't really run into anyone else. There's a lot of opponents. Yeah, I still only have the two emails. And if I had a day at work like that was only getting two emails, I would have been okay. It's morning. 
Yeah, because I can tell by the sun is just looking right at me. It's just staring at my bed, judging me. What the hell? Alright, so this is the end of the third episode, and we f managed to finish one day <laughs> in this game. But anyway, let's stop here, and then the next part, well, I guess we'll just have to face another day. Especially when that sun looks like it's ready to have uh, two scoops of raisins ready for me. See you everyone, thanks for watching.